Good day peeps, me again Denner and today I'm going to show you how to fly waypoints using a Spark but not the DJI Go Up Software but what we call the Spark Pro. As we know, the DJI Spark doesn't have the waypoints. Unlike the Phantom 3 and the Mavic, you have the waypoint. Waypoint is where you can define the point, flight path, where the quadcopter would go. There will be cases that will be useful for waypoints. For example, waypoints for 3D mapping, or to mosaic photos, you can also use that. With that feature, the Spark cannot do it because they remove it in the DJI Go app, which is unfortunate. But there are some software that you can use like uh, Drone Deploy which is a paid software monthly and you can also use Litchi but uh, Michel Bagnetti, one of the developers of Spark Pro gave me a free uh, program or app on using my iPhone and I'll try to check the waypoint using the DJI Spark. I have to study pretty well because DJI does not warrant the use of third-party applications so be careful using it. Yeah, that's a disclaimer so be careful using it so maybe I'm going to see how successful the, the program is using the Spark Pro waypoint. So stay tuned, let's try to fly it up. We have trust issues with our machine so at first I'm also afraid of that but once you get to know or you have to trust the machine that's the time you can have a what we call this push your confidence in flying autonomously uh, i've been using that in drone deploy and it's the first time going to use a third party software called the spark pro by michelle bagnetti so we're gonna try that and see how it performs well first off of course you have to need to know the basics of flying you have the checklist with you you should have also the wind speed and put it in a large field very open area dapat where we have to fly our drones set the max distance to a minimum and of course like i said in a very large field there's two options for waypoints one is just uh, bi-directional or where the heading is pointing and the other one is poi where it's the point of interest and that's the feature i already missed using the phantom 3 where we have but the problem is you have to manually set your drone for the point of interest in order to perform a shoot unlike the lychee and spark pro you can have the waypoint set on the map itself then you upload the map and then that's it where you can click fly autonomously using the spark pro and yeah i'm so hesitant but <laughs> let's see if i can fly it successfully hopefully nothing happens okay okay so first you have to go to spark pro uh, if you click here this is about the version it's 2.4 and the programmer michelle Boydnetti is kind enough to give me the software of course if you swing to the left there's also a warning that uh, the gps might be affected if it's nearby like electric poles metal objects so this app is designed for outdoor use only and fly responsibly don't fly in urban areas don't fly in bad weather condition and respect your country's laws and there's also a disclaimer here like i said they are not warranted by dji so you have the waypoint so check the waypoint first so example if you have a new mission click on new mission and this is where they will put us into so the gps correctly determined my location we are actually here in a cemetery in Santa Cruz, Laguna. If you click on this setting, that's the time you can see you can adjust the speed by pressing the plus and negative. So for now, it's waypoint defined. So it means that it's automatically defaulted to that. And you also have the heading or where the camera is pointing. It's also waypoint defined, but you can also try it in manual mode where you can control the heading. And this is, I want to check if it's gonna work with the manual other than the waypoint it means that i can rotate the quadcopter while it's doing its waypoint so let me see if that will work the gimbal pitch angle is also you can do it manually so you can put the gimbal pitch up and down and if you like the action to be finished it can go home or it can land or it can go back to the first waypoint or none so usually it goes home but for me i can set it at back to first 
because there's a line here or a tree and on waypoint on each behavior it can stop on each flight or you can do it continuously but if you do it continuously um, waypoints defined actions will not be performed but if there's a disconnection behavior do you continue the mission or you stop the mission and return to home i just say continue the mission and that's where we can test if the pause button would work during this mission so if you like to repeat the mission just click yes uh, to twice the mission or no and that's it to add the waypoint long press this one and that's the first waypoint so let's try here that's the second waypoint third waypoint fourth waypoint okay so if you click long then you can drag it so you can see drag it click drag click drag okay so when you this is one this is two this is three point fourth point so on each waypoint there's a positive sign so the positive sign is where you can add more waypoints in between so example you added one here at the pass sign and then move this further like this one and then move this the second waypoint so there's now five five waypoints and i think this is it the first waypoint will be there and i'm checking if there are trees okay so there's no trees so on the first waypoint click on the setting and you can have a maximum altitude of 25 and up to a 500 meters so right now the default is 25 and there's no obstruction i think it's safe to fly at 25 meters you can also adjust the speed so it's 14 kilometers per hour so if you like to make it more faster then that's it the heading of the gimbal you can also define it the gimbal pitch angle is straight so notice if i adjust it so the gimbal is going straight but now when i push it down it's going to the bird's eye view notice the x mark so it means that it goes to a a lower angle uh, of the gimbal pitch so so you have this option one is to start recording two is to stop recording three is to take the picture four is to stop recording and take a picture then stop recording take a picture then start it but here the but for now i'll take no action maybe i'll try to manually select the recording and the picture uh, taking of the picture and here another button here so example if you're in waypoint one you can see the movement of the latitude and longitude to be more precise so if you like to be more center in the middle just push the longitude to the left or right and that's it so you can also see the the distances in between so this one is 58 meters and and you have an estimated flight time of 1 minute and 43 seconds with a total distance of 188 uh, meters okay so if you click on the next arrow that's going to the waypoint 2 and same thing you can adjust the heading so there's two heading rotation there's waypoint and progressive i think progressive is determining already you see the arrows add, being added so if you click that it will uh, automatically aim the camera on a certain like point of interest location but for now i'll do a waypoint everything is on waypoint so i will not do anything progressive yet okay so let's try to save this and then once we save this we can try connecting okay so here i am and it's currently disconnected okay and we can add another mission or maybe duplicate and now you see you have two waypoints okay so we create a new waypoint mission okay so here we are again and i like to have a point of interest this time i'll put this mission name poi then click ok so the name is poi so that's the point of interest so now doing the poi or the point of interest so we drag first this one so we choose the poi click the poi then it's now to do the waypoints so first waypoint then click again a few seconds add another waypoint click again add another waypoint then again add another waypoint so you notice the purple arrow it means that it's all focusing on the same point of interest which is number two or the center of it and that's the point of interest just click this adjust click this adjust so yeah you can play around with it okay 
so let's make sure that so the point of interest there is defined and then continue the mission if something happens so really have to be careful in checking all of this but make sure everything is in order so let's try to check each and every POI POI okay so here we can start recording start recording then nothing happens in two it means it's still recording and then on the fifth one we click on two to stop recording so it means that it's going to take up recording all throughout the flight okay so save it okay so it's time to connect to the drone okay so everything is already set on waypoints and after setting the waypoint make sure everything is clear and then now is a good time to start the waypoint let's go check it out okay so turn on your drone and then turn off the rc and make sure you have good gps so you don't have to use dji go app for this you have to use the spark pro app so i'm already connected let's see i'm gonna show you how it is connected Okay, so that's my wave of point over there and here I think in between the two waypoints that I'm going to fly the drone So I'm going to check the GPS connection and let's see Okay, so I think it's now safe to fly Okay, there's an error not safe to fly So gimbal is already working So if you like to upload click on upload So it's gonna upload mission uploaded correctly if it's ready yes okay, okay so it's now flying so it's now flying to the point of interest so it's a one minute flight okay so it now meets the first waypoint it's recording going to the second point so it's doing its own waypointing and the good thing is you can do the the pause button okay so it's now flying uh, over there it's now recording and you can always click on the pause button if you're in doubt so it's now working autonomously i'm not doing anything it's now flying on its own very nice so i'm also controlling the gimbal but you see it's fighting i'm controlling the gimbal up down rotating the quad left right it's also not doing it and the max time it's 58 Minute, uh, one minute now i still have 12 seconds to see the drone is still working ah okay so it works pretty well so you have to be really careful when you start uploading because it's, or immediately it's gonna fly so be careful on that so i think now it's nothing happens okay mission executed finish i think it's going up to a safe distance at 50 oh it's now going home in my location and i can pause it and take it over so the waypoint is working good thing so it's going up high back to me and i can pause it okay so it pauses and now i'm regaining control back to the quad so i think that's the first mission that i tried to upload and working perfectly so there's an error message that always appear but it doesn't bother my connection much so i think it's okay and i still have batteries left to fly my drone great so that's the job well done let's try the second po uh, the second waypoint which is all heading waypoints and let's check it out okay so i'm gonna change some of the settings here the heading i'll try it in manual a gimbal in manual so i'll try to set all of this in manual and let's see and click on waypoint yeah maybe i'll try to record it no action so i'm going to try to record it on my own save it and ready to upload 
So there's my drone again, safe to fly. It recorded my home point. Let's okay. So I'm going to do the waypoint without the heading or without the POI, without the point of interest, just the simple waypoint. And I control it the heading and the gimbal. And let's see how it does. Let's cross our fingers. Okay, so it's generating data. Fly correctly. Okay. So it's now going to the waypoint. So this is just the waypoint. Let's see if I can control it left, right. No. Oh, but the heading I can control. 50%. See, there I am. And even the gimbal. Okay, but this is just the heading. So it's going to the first mission. Waypoint, can I post it? And then... The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So I'm going to manually check so now I'm rotating freely so it doesn't go up and down left or right but I can rotate freely up and down the gimbal so it's now moving so yeah that's it if you did the so the mission is still running So you see I can move the drone left to right and the gimbal up and down but still doesn't if I go up the altitude doesn't even go up or down um, and if I go left and right the pitch still doesn't do that I can't do anything with the controls it's just doing it on its own automatically recording but again I record it again so it's on the fifth mission now so ready finish with its fifth mission and I think it's time for it to go back on the first waypoint just like I said it's going to the first waypoint wow okay so again it did successfully fly great job and I try to return it now using the pause button and then drag it back here manually so you can make it return to home if you like so I can face it in front of me and hopefully you can see me and my wife taking the shot and it's great so always take note of the the on the lower right of the screen you always have to consider the 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 satellite which is on the, the right now I have 21 22 satellites and the battery of the drone is 27 percent which is already in yellow which means it's going to go low bat soon and the remote control I have 95 percent no problem on the 95 percent bat of the remote iPhone or the phone is 71 percent so everything you have to always consider that and if you like to click this in full screen just click on it make it more larger and then let's see if me and my wife will have a picture and yeah I think you have to set the exposure initially okay there's me and wifey where are you okay so one pull out shot nya peace again bye bye that's a nice pull out shot there extra and extra So, and you can also consider on the left side so it's now going home I cancelled it so also consider the kilometer speed the distance which is now the height is now 80 meters 17 going down and the distance is now 42 meters I'm going to return it now because it's already low on battery okay and it's landing okay so the thing i like about that is it flies autonomously so if you're doing orbits or uh, uh, point of interest this is it this is the one that you can use 
549 pesos in the Philippines using an iPhone. I think it will be cheaper in other countries. So it's a good way of uh, getting to be familiar with Waypoint. Like I said, at first you don't trust the, 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 the program, but you have to really put some trust in it. But always remember to push the red, uh, the pause button if something happens during flight, like birds and other stuff. And the Waypoint mission is a good way for me to do stitching or mosaic. Uh, stitching of uh, crops and like buildings and you like to do 3d mapping this is also a good way to deal with and I will also show you some of the features so yeah the camera I forgot to mention the camera so everything is set in automatic but if you like us photographers we always set it on manual but for the sake of tutorial I don't have time for that and so great job Michelle thanks for giving me the free software I hope everybody should try and do the waypoint stuff using the spark pro good to it's good that he extended these uh, features to the spark which is very very reliable again watch for the next session which is the using the vr app the virtual immersive action where goggles you can try also using that i'm going to show that feature as well see ya subscribe to my channel please do download the app and please do again subscribe to my channel as always on the left peace see ya Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the upper left and on the lower right. Peace.